Hello everybody and welcome back to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to Sandy Bay. It's been a while since we've been on here, so I thought I'd uh, crack out a Sandy Bay video right now. Um, so we're, first of all, we're starting off in the workshop because we've got something quite interesting to do today and it involves us swapping out the wheels here on the JCB Fast Track. So we'll do that real quick whilst we are here. So we are actually going to put on the wide tyres. Now, I'm going to explain why later on because we've got quite a heavy load to get today. So there we go, there is the wide tires on because we're going to be doing some off-roading today so we'll jump up oh gosh we went too far we'll jump up into the cab we'll reset the head tracking and um get that door closed awesome the wise four-wheel drive on we'll get that turned off so yeah we need to head down to the other side of the map right now to collect a trailer for today um so i've had a couple of comments about this uh do you know, a few episodes ago we started off doing the making our own little forestry area at the bottom of one of the fields um, I'm going to be completely honest, I forgot about it. There's the uh, challenger from the last video. We still haven't packed her away yet. So, um, yeah, I had a few comments saying, when are we carrying on with that? Why have I forgot about it? And, yeah, I did completely forget about it. So I do apologise. So today we're going to carry on with that a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and turn out of here. Head track has been a bit rubbish today. I'm not sure why. It won't let me turn that way. There we go. Ooh! Should, probably should have adjusted the head tracking before I uh, started recording, but there we go. See, so yeah, we've got quite a long drive. We'll head into the village here at 30 miles an hour. Start indicating. So we're heading down to the woods area because we have a friend that has a proper forestry business. Um, it's not Old Man Jenkins. This is like a proper corporate, um, a proper corporate one. So head out of here, like so. So yeah, um, he's on holiday. And all of his workers are on holiday as well, so we get to borrow a piece of machinery today. Now, it's nothing unrealistic. Um, as you guys know, we do own a second-hand... Well, if you don't know, then we own a second-hand cat skid steer. Um, we used it for... We tried using it for forestry, but it didn't have the guts to pick up what we wanted it to pick up. Can we go this way? Yeah, we can. I think we can go this way. We'll go this way. Go, 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 go. Forgot about this way. Um... So yeah, we have a second-hand cat skid steer, but unfortunately it didn't have the guts to do what we wanted it to do in the last episode. So we've got hold of our mate Josh, random name, um, and he's letting us borrow his, uh, his loader today. So we've got a couple of days until he gets back, so we need to get this done as soon as possible. Alright, let's indicate into the uh, forestry area. I'm not sure why his gate's been deleted. I do specifically remember a gate being on here in FS15. There we go. So head down here. As you can see, we've got the Seasons mod working in full swing. We've got um, all the trees overhanging and the Seasons colours, which looks really, really good. Now, if you're watching this and you're one of the Seasons guys, I know some of you guys sometimes watch my videos. I managed to get the uh, the weather back at the top. It disappeared. It was a conflict with game extension and creator tools, but it's back now. So we just come over this little uh, verge here. And there it is. We are borrowing his case wheel loader today with one of his forks. Um, like I said, he's away for a couple of days, so we have two days to get what we want done, basically. And it's basically for all the heavy logs. Let's reverse back here a minute. I really don't know what's wrong with my head tracking today. Maybe it's running out of battery. Who knows? Right, let's go ahead and jump out of here real quick. Ah, oh, too much my summer car. I keep turning things off. Right, actually, we can do it from this side. Cool. So we'll get that like that. Awesome. So uh, this is the Case 721FXR wheel loader. Um, it's a shame the fork's not the same colour. It's the stole something. It's got straps on it, so it should come in handy. Um, now, it's maybe a little bit too heavy for this trailer and tractor, but it does have triple axles, so the weight is not being put onto like one axle, so it should technically be okay. Um, the JCB's not that gutless. It's pretty much a truck with a... On a this is pretty much a truck on a uh, tractor chassis, basically, so it should be fine. We'll get that closed up. Get it turned back on. I'm not sure why I turned it off in the first place. And we are away. So let's try and get out of this woods without tipping her over. I'm going to get our four-wheel drive on here, just in case we end up slipping. That's not just me role-playing, by the way, guys. The Seasons mod does actually have tyre slip, which is amazing. So yeah, we are moving swiftly out of here. Try and find a path that isn't going to knock the wheel loader off. Probably should get our beacon lights on as well. Are they on? Yeah, they are. Cool. So we'll come out of here. Oh. Bit bouncy back there. 
it should be fine. No, I think this trailer does have locking script. Once again, this trailer here is by CD Models. Really, really recommend checking out his stuff. He does really good models. Um, let me indicate out this way. Like so. Make sure no traffic is coming. Nothing that way. Oh, there is something coming that way. Go, 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 go. We're going to make it. Yes, we made it. Cool. Also, just a quick update for those of you that maybe are new to the channel, you didn't see the episode that I'm referring to. Basically, we had a bit of wasteland at the uh, bottom of one of our fields, and we decided to turn it into our own little forestry, personal forestry area. Um, so it's kind of cleared at the moment. There's a lot more trees in there than I first thought. So uh, we'll make sure nothing's coming here. We did just have a little crash, because um, my dog wanted to get out of my bedroom, so uh, I went to get it, let him out of the bedroom, and... Um, Someone crashed into us, but the wheel load is okay. It's kind of gone over the edge a little bit, but we're still alive. That's the main thing. So yeah, here right on our left right now is the area itself. Now you can't really see because it's all overgrown. Maybe the winter would have been a better time to do this where there's no leaves on the trees, but oh well. We'll, we'll manage. We'll manage. So yeah, we're going to need to finish clearing that area. I don't think we're going to finish today, but this is going to be the last episode we get on camera at least because I don't want to do too much into it. Come wide around that corner there. Head tracking seems to have sorted itself out. Right, we'll get our cruise control on here. So that's the field we need to get to. Now, we have already put the case Puma in there, and we've rented a trailer as well. Maybe a little bit excessive for what we want it to be today, but we're going to get a lot of trees in there as well. So, bigger the better, basically. Saves us a couple of trips. Um, now, another thing I need to clear up is people asked me why I didn't just use the Tatra or the Man Truck to pull the... The normal fifth wheel trailers. That's because they're rigid bodies. They're not fifth wheel tractors. Uh, tractors? What talk about? Fifth wheel trucks, lorries. Um, so well, technically, I could have put the dolly on the back of them, but that just seems pointless to me. So instead, we put the dolly on the back of the trailer, uh, back of the tractor. Sorry, and uh, then we put the trailer on the back of that. So I think that's going to be the best solution. Oh, slowly, I don't know why this thing's going so slow. Okay, so we are just coming up towards the field now. This is going to be a bit of a dodgy corner this because we gotta go up onto the little uh, verge there to get around the corner but we're through it's okay we'll go we're good to go so yeah we're now at the field and uh, we need to go to the end field and then turn right and go to the very bottom and that is our little forest area for those of you haven't seen that I will give you a quick little tour so basically uh, you may be asking why we're doing why we're ripping down trees just to plant trees it's because we're gonna put the normal uh, the, what are they called I forgot what type of tree it is but uh yeah, we need to put those trees down instead so we can start getting, maybe renting a scorpion or getting some contractors in with a scorpion. And uh, we'll get have a lot of money before we know it, basically. Oh gosh, there's a tree overgrowing here. We're going to have to go over the crop, unfortunately. What am I indicating? There we go. So that's the case I was telling you guys about. Uh, we've already dropped it down here before recording, and that's the rented trailer there. So I'll quickly show you that setup as well. There she is. Good old Puma. Get our beaker lights off as well now because we're not going to be using them for a while. Right, let's go ahead and unfold the rear ramp here. There we go. Get the JCB turned off and um, we're pretty much good to go now. So we're just going to swivy our way through here. We'll jump into the wheel loader. In fact, no, I'll show you this like I just said. So, yeah, the dolly and the trailer are rented. In fact, I can probably show you that if I go to garage. There we go, rentals. Oh, and this is rented as well. I forgot, we're borrowing these as well. So we're borrowing these, and uh, we're renting these as well. So there's the uh, Puma that you guys seem to love so much. I do love it. Um, be interested if I could take this with me to another Let's Play. It's up to you guys, though. Um, so yeah, it's a bit big, a bit excessive for what we need today, this trailer. But at the same time, we have to get rid of this whole woodland area. So as you can see, we need to get rid of the grass here, actually. But um, we've got some logs left over that the skid steer couldn't load last time. Uh, it was too heavy for the skid steer, basically. We've got a little one there. What's this doing here? We'll get rid of this one here. How did that escape us? Oh, no, failed. I failed that massively. We'll get that in a minute. But, um, so this is the forestry area. Now, it's a lot more overgrown than it was last time you guys seen it. In fact, it looks like we've made no progress. But that's because as Seasons Mod progresses, more leaves grow and stuff. So it was pretty much bare when we last came in here. But, um, yeah, we need to carry on cracking it this way. It's not actually that big. It only goes to here. So from here to where we just came in, basically, so what's that? About 50 foot, so they are? I don't know, not 50 foot, sorry. I don't know, 100 foot? I don't know. I'm not very good at measurements, but there we go. So we're going to make a start on clearing this rubbish here. We also need to get rid of the stumps, which we've not done just yet. Look at that plane go overhead there. 
So we're going to jump into our rented wheel loader, which does get used for forestry anyway. It is clean as well, actually. I wasn't expected to be this clean. Let's just get to grips with uh, how, how the front loader works. So we've got the normal up and down motion of the arm there. And to open it, we twist. And I think that's it. That's all we really need, to be fair. Now, like I said, there is straps on here for, as well for safety. So we might have to use them at some point. Right, let's come off this trailer here. Lift the arm up so we don't smash into the ground. Right, let's go ahead and get this open. Now, one thing whilst I do this, one thing I want to talk about regarding this wheel loader and that trailer. Now, there may be a couple of people that by the time I've said this have probably already commented saying that this is way too heavy for the trailer, blah, 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 blah. Um, at the end of the day, it is a game. Now, I know there's, there's one thing being realistic, but then there's... A point where you get to where it's just not fun anymore so luckily it's farm sim we don't have to worry about loading weights and stuff i mean the only way i could get around that is if i actually looked up the real life counterpart of that particular trailer so the chieftain trailer and see what the loading weight of it was um which i'm not willing to do just for a farm sim game i like being realistic but not realistic enough that i'm going to go onto the chieftain website and find out what the loading weight of that trailer is and then find out what the uh, real life weight of this wheel loader is basically there we go. Let's zoom out a little bit. Let's see if we can collect this one. I prefer doing the bigger ones. These little ones here are very fiddly. Let's get this picked up here. We can do it. Wheel load is moving when I'm trying to do this, and it's annoying me. There we go. We got her. We got her. So I'm not going to bother with the straps yet for this, but I don't think we need it for this log. Right, there we go. We'll go ahead and load this first one in here. We're going to do a lot of this in third person, so you guys actually have stuff to look at. There we go. God, thank God for that. I'm going to be honest, I was a bit worried that this thing wouldn't actually reach over the trailer, but there we go. We've done it. We'll drop her in. And there is our first log. So I might actually trim the sides of that down in a minute, so it sits flush with the bottom of the trailer. But we'll worry about that when it's actually in there. There we go. Go, 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 go. Uh, let's see, what other what logs do we have here? Let's see if we can maneuver this tree, or, uh, this camera around a little bit more. So yeah, very, very much overgrown compared to last time we're here, if you guys did watch that episode. There we are. I think we've got another one there. It's tiny though, isn't it? Actually, that's pretty big. It's pretty big. Not really got a good grip on it, but uh, it'll do. Let's rotate the camera around like that. Now, another thing I do get asked quite a lot is about the wheel panel, is does it work on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One? No, unfortunately not. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Um, personally, I think it'd be cool if it did. But no, unfortunately, it does not work with Xbox and PS1, only PC. All right, let's go ahead and unload this. That was a terrible, terrible mistake there. That sort of fell in, but like I said, we're not really worried about making it neat. This is not like we're selling the proper logs. We're just clearing an area, basically. So we probably would have been better off using a huge skip. But I'm not sure we'd be able to unload them after that, so... Wait, where's that stump? We want to be careful we don't damage the fork, as soon as it's not ours. Right, there we go. See if we can get two of these, actually. What I'm going to do is stop this wheel loader from moving. Ever since I had that new version of... Uh, fuel usage. The things have been rolling around. I'm not sure what's done. I think that mod's got a bit too big for its boots. It should have just stayed as a uh, fuel usage mod instead of adjusting all the power and all that good stuff. There we go. Right. Aim this properly down. Look at that. We're going to get two here. See if this actually works. No, it's going to pop out. Why does it do that? Farm sim, come on. I wish it was like it was in FS13. Forestry in FS13 was amazing. It was a mod, but it was amazing regardless. Right, we're going to start looking at the back here. So we're kind of destroying our winter barley, but that's fine. It's only the corner of it. Right, let's go ahead and drop this into here. Like so. Rotate the camera around. Drop us in. Go. There we go. That one was actually pretty good. Lift that up before we reverse. So, actually, at the time of recording this, it's currently Thursday. Now, there's been an update for crop destruction, so I may put it back in. Maybe they fixed um, the bug that I used to hate. So, for those of you that I actually get asked this quite a lot, and people ask why I don't have crop destruction if I'm trying to be realistic, and basically, 
when I first started using it, it would be so like you'd be driving and it would be leaving a, a massive chunk as opposed to just where the wheels are. I don't know if they fix that now, but I'm gonna have a I'll give it another chance basically. So um yeah, instead of just taking like where the wheels have been, it would take like a, a huge square out, which I didn't like. So uh, maybe they fixed it. We'll have a look. If they have, then we'll uh, we'll start using it again. Let's see if we can. Um, it's a bit in wonky this one, but see if we can uh, rotate the uh, wheel loader in a way that we can dump it in straight, like this. It's the wrong way. It's stuck. Oh no, that's gone horrifically wrong. It's stuck. It's actually stuck. All right, there we go. Got rid of that. Let's go ahead and try that again, shall we? There we go. That's more like it. Much more like it. We'll get that lifted up. We'll plop her into it. These are only the small logs right now. The big ones are actually already been taken away. So when we actually chop down the base of the other trees... I'm going to have to readjust all them in a minute. Right, there's one more left from the last video, and then we can start cutting down fresh new trees. So I'll load these up, and uh, we'll make a start on cutting down some more. Right, okay, so we've got that final log loaded up now. I've also sort of rearranged them. Well, when I say rearranged, I mean I've knocked them with the arm of this. <laughs> um, so we just got the stumps left here now to pick up. Um, but f for now, we need to chop down some more trees. So we'll go ahead and get the wheel loader turned off. Get the uh, chainsaw out here. Now, one thing I wish we could do was remove all the shrubs. In fact, I think that's what we might do. So I'm trying to think of a method that's going to be easier for us. And instead of just going along and then forwards, I think we may try and take out this whole, like, row here. Possibly. Um, right, so I'm just having a look around to see any good methods. And most of the trees are actually under the ground, which is going to become a bit of a problem for us. Um, so what we're going to do instead is just chop this down. And uh, we'll see what we've got left. There we go, there's that one. In fact, is that even a real branch? I don't think that's a real branch there. That's just turned into like a foliage tree. Like a decoration tree. How are you going to get rid of this? Hmm. This is an issue. Let's go and see if we can get this. There we go. That's more like it. So if you guys haven't really done much forestry, um, I can give you a little uh, tip now. So the low quality ones, you can see these ones are completely different colours, but the low quality ones here, they're not actually real branches, they're just uh, foliage. So if you go up to the base of it and do that, it gets rid of it, so there's a little tip for you. As you can see, we're slowly making a uh, make it clearer as already. So there's another one here. So let's find out where this one starts. If we can reach it, there we go. So it's not actually that many trees in here. It's just the foliage brushes, basically the branches. Sorry. So you can see, there's another one there. There's another one there. Another one there. Awesome. Now, it may have been probably a better way to chip this, but unfortunately, the size of the branches we have left won't go in the chipper, which is a shame. Let's go ahead and get this one as well. It's not going to work, is it? Right, we'll chop this one down then. Like so. Come on, you can do it. It's, it's a very thick branch here. And that's fallen through the ground. Fantastic. <laughs> we'll deal with that in a minute. We'll deal with that in a minute. Um, let's do that. We're going to do something very unrealistic and come up the tree, but unfortunately we don't have the... Uh, any tools to get up here, basically. In FS15, there was like a front loader lift, but it doesn't exist in this game, unfortunately. And this tree is completely under the ground, so I'm not sure how we're going to get it. Right, so, um, you see it's slowly coming along here. Now, some of the branches are under the ground, but I know how to get them, but I'll do it off camera because uh, it's not very realistic, that's for sure. Um, we could leave them there, but then it would cause lag. So we're just going to carry on getting these branches here. Um, now, there's actually a what they call it, Barch, a birch tree? What's the white one's called? I can't remember. Um, we're going to get this one here in a minute. I like getting these. They seem to be pretty easy, usually. So we're going to go quite... We don't want to get too low, and the reason for that is because we want to be able to find it with the um, the stump grinder later on. So we'll get this one to chop down like so. Timber. That's going to fall through the hedge. Uh, there we go. That's not what we wanted to happen, but there, it's done anyway. So we'll quickly climb up and get rid of all the, uh, the shrubs here, like so. And uh, we can start cu cutting away these branches now. So let's go ahead and cut this one off first of all. Probably do these ones by hand, like put them into the the, uh, the trailer by hand. There's one. Let's get rid of the uh, shrubs on this. There we go. And there's another one here. 
Right, okay, so that's another tree down now. So it's come out quite nice. I wonder if we can get this little, uh, I like to call them warts. But I wonder if I can get this little stump off here. It looks like we can if I can get the angle just right. So wait until it goes blue. There we go. Now, is it going to disappear or can we pick it up? It didn't disappear. Cool. Um, not sure we're going to... Oh, that made me fly then. Right, there we go. We'll drop that down like that. And this one's now ready to pick up with the wheel loader. So I've put these into a ni nice little neat pile here. Um, so we're going to see if we can pick these up with the wheel loader. Like I just said, I don't think we're going to... In fact, I'm certain we're not going to pick this one up. So we're just going to get rid of it for now. Boop. No, I did reach. Right, so we jump back into the uh, to the wheel loader here, and we'll try and get the rest of these uh, picked up. Put the head tracking back on. Start up the uh, the wheel loader here, and uh, we'll give it our best shot at this. So these branches may be too small for this uh, fork here, but this may be a perfect time to demonstrate to you guys the straps if you guys haven't seen it yet. So we'll go ahead and uh, pick these up like so. As you can see, some of them are a bit small, so they're probably going to fall out. That's where the uh, the strap comes in handy. So we'll get in here. We'll press R to get that strap in. R to get that strap in. And it's only the two. But hopefully, the uh, little branches are now stuck into the locking script. So we'll give it a go. Look at that. It's fantastic. So we'll back this out of here. Like so. Head tracking's playing up a bit. There we go. Let's rotate this around. Get it roughly put on the trailer. Now, I'm going to have a wild guess that all the little pieces are going to fly out. But it's not really an issue. We'll just pick them up at the end. So before we open the fork, we want to climb up into the trailer and get the uh, get the straps off here. There we go. Let's get that taken off like that. The little one's falling out already. And we will open up the grab. Look at that. Oh, we got one stuck in the fork somehow. How has that happened? Oh, got it. Cool. Reverse out of here. Now we'll try the big one. So this forest is coming along quite well. Like I said, I do need to somehow glitch my way under the map later on to get rid of the ones that are floating. Which is a bit unrealistic, but there's nothing I can do about it. In real life, you wouldn't get trees falling underneath the ground. So we'll try and rotate this. Oh, 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 oh. We may have glitched it out the ground. We may have glitched it out the ground. Let's see if we can pick her up. Nope, it fell back through the earth. No, it was worth a shot. Well, a bit unrealistic, but that's not my fault. That's to do with farm sim. So we're going to get this big log picked up now. There's no way we could pick this up with our hands. So we'll try and pick her up with the uh, with the wheel loader here. We make a lot more progress with this than we were the skids here, that's for sure. There we go, we've got her. Uh, let's rotate it out of here. Go, 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 go. Awesome. Right. Oh, there's a stump there. Be careful of that. So, yeah, you kind of get the idea of what's going on now. We just need to basically clear this. So, I'm not sure how I'm going to get the ones from underneath the ground. Once again, it's a bit unrealistic. I don't re usually do stuff like that. Or I usually edit it out. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys why we're not getting all the trees and why some of them are suddenly disappearing from when we first started the video. They're just falling under the ground, basically. And I know why it is. And it's just they're not meant to be ch chopped down, basically. They're just decorations. So, they were kind of put under the ground a little bit. Right, so that is another tree down. Let's go ahead and turn the wheel loader off once again. And we'll find another candidate. So I want to go with this. Mm, this one's under the ground as well. See if we can get these uh, shrubs off here. Is it going to work? Nope. Right. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. This tree is under the ground as well. Uh, I'll tell you what, there's a white one here. What are they called? Birch trees, I think these are called. Don't quote me on that. I'm not very good for my uh, tree knowledge, that's for sure. Right, let's get this one cut down. This is probably going to be the last one of the video. We've been recording now for 37 minutes. And um, once again, most of it will be edited out, but... There we go, there's another one. Now we could probably... Can we get away with picking this up? Yeah, we can. Cool. So we get this picked up and put into this uh, pile over here. Now, I do want to tidy this up real quick because I don't want it to go into the trader or skew with. So we'll cut that bit there. And also we will cut this bit... Here. Oh, no, there we go. Cut that bit there. And also cut this bit here. We're basically trying to keep it as straight as we can so we can pick them all up with the wheel loader and put them into the trailer nice and neat. So we'll collect this piece. Is it going to work? There we go. Collect this piece here. Put it into a nice little pile. Nice little pile. 
Nice little pile. So here's a good idea, actually. i just come up with an idea. This area would be perfect for growing Christmas trees. I wonder if we can do that. So there's a really weird collision thing going on there. Um, right, so there's the first piece of this tree down. Let's see if we can get this shrub off real quick. There we go, got that off. Got that bit off. Um, can we cut this branch here? I don't really want to be stood underneath this when we cut it down, but we'll do our best. There we go. So the timber. There we go. Now we want to be really careful now, because as you can see, we are... Uh, let's just pull this out a little bit. There we go. So as you can see, we're getting quite close to the road now. So we don't want to make sure... Well, we, we want to make sure it doesn't fall into the road, basically. Uh, we have to drag this along the floor. Ooh! What happened to that? Did that go on the road? Oh, we've lost the branch. We've lost the branch. I don't know where that... Oh, wait, it's there. There it is. There we go. Jump! Jump! Dang it! Jump! <laughs> Right, a million jumps later, we've got back over. Uh, I had to find a bit of a lower piece. Um, I've lost this branch completely now. I'm not sure where it's gone. We'll have to get it in a minute. But uh, we need to think about this actual... This is the wrong tree. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, I had enough coffee today. That's what's going on here. We'll get all the shrubs taken off here so we can actually see what we're doing. There's a little bit left here, I think. There we go. We'll get this branch off here. Getting quite low FPS. I can't help but think the tree under the ground is causing issues. I want to move this wheel loader back a little bit, actually. There we go. Right, so we want to get this branch off as we can. Stand up on this. Once again, I've worked this in real life, but I can't get it into the angle that I want to get it at, basically. I don't understand farm sim, why you can't... When you cut, like, a, an angle in the wood, I don't understand why it falls the opposite direction. It really confuses me. Right, can we pick this up? Yes, we... No, we can't. Can we? Yeah, we can. Cool. Plop this here. What the heck? I said plop this here. There we go. I don't know what happened then. Right, there's a couple of little bits here as, all, as well that we chopped off a second ago. Let's put these over here as well. Like so. And once again, this bit here is definitely not going to be able to get picked up by the wheel loader, so we'll just chuck it. Where did the other one go? There it was. Look at that! Right next to it. If that was a game of, uh, what's it called? Balls? Balls? Something like that? I'd be winning. So, let's get this final log chopped here now. I think we're just going to go directly in half, I think. Um, actually, how do we do that thing? There we go. So what I'm going to do is stand at the end of this, and we'll do Alt, right click. And uh, we'll see how long the log is. So it's about 12 meters, so we want to go about 6, I reckon. So we'll stand back at the end here. Oh, that stupid collision thing. Alright, let's go about... S we're in the air. We're actually in the air. Why are we in the air? Alright, we'll go about... About 6 meters. About there-ish, maybe? And we'll get this chopped off. Alright, there we go. Go, scoop that up. Right, so we got it touching. We'll get the straps on if it will let us. How do we get under here? Strap one, strap two. Cool. Let's go back into third person here. We'll carry on grabbing these like so, and I think we've got them. There we go. I really do not know why this uh, wheel loader is rolling back. I reckon it's that fuel usage mod. Something's playing with the uh, physics and stuff, and I don't like it. I'm going to have to have a look through my mods list and see what's going on, so... Put this over the trailer like so. Once again, we'll jump in to the, uh, to the trailer. There we go, like so. Drop this into there, like... Oh, some of them already gone in without us. Cool. <laughs> We've actually just got one log left, two logs left inside the fork. But that's okay. Scooch that off like that. And there we go. That is a... Well, the whole video was only two trees, but um, we've chopped down a lot more. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to carry on struggling with this forest here. I'm going to have to glitch into the map unrealistically and get rid of the ones that are under the map. In fact, I'll just show you what I mean. Now, I can't go under the map, but I can make the camera go down. There we go. So that's what's going on underneath the map, basically. Once again, this is not actually me underneath the map. It's literally just the camera. We're still here. Um... 
So yeah, this is a bit of an adventurous video. We got into a lot of trouble with the uh, council. We're also probably going to get in trouble for breaking the wheel order. But there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed either way. So I'm just giving you a quick update of what's going on with this forestry area. So I'm probably going to go ahead and get the rest of these trees cut down. And uh, we can move on to our next thing. Our next job is going to be to level this and probably... I don't know. We may plough it up. Not plough it, but you know what I mean. Just like turf it up sort of thing but there we go so hope you guys enjoyed if you did enjoy please up a thumbs up button it really does mean a lot hit subscribe to see more from myself i've been simulate gaming and i'll see you in the next one